Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to learn how to create this typography effect using CapCut on PC. So, let's jump right in. First, drag a white background onto the timeline. And hey, if you're finding this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more editing tips. Now, add a text layer to the timeline. I'm using the lemon font. You can choose any font you like for the rest. Just make sure its color is set to black. Resize it and position it where you want. Now go to animation and choose fade in. After that, add a keyframe. We're going to animate this text so it moves from the bottom to the top and then slides to the right. You can do this using the X and Y values under the position property. If you're new to keyframing, I've already uploaded a video explaining it. Check it out in the description. Next, add another text layer. And resize it to match the first one. We'll animate it the same way using keyframes and adjusting the position through the X and Y coordinates. Once that's done, head over to the Animations tab and add the Wave-In animation for a smooth effect. Now let's add a third text layer and animate it the same way we did with the first two. Using keyframes and adjusting the X and Y position values. Next, we'll start building the word UP. First, add a new text layer with the letter U and resize it as needed. Now go to the animations and choose inhale animation from the animation in tab. After that, duplicate the U layer, change the letter to P and resize it to match. You can follow along with the adjustments on screen. Now, the goal here is to resize the letter U to match the width of the word what's. To do that, go to the transform settings and uncheck uniform scale. Then, increase the width until it aligns perfectly with the what's text layer. Next, add the following word and continue placing each word one by one, adjusting fonts and sizes to match your style. And hey, if you're finding this helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more editing tips. Make sure to match the duration of each text layer so they're all the same length on the timeline. Once everything looks good, select all the text layers and turn them into a compound clip to keep things clean and easy to manage. Next, head over to the sound section and search for stamps and claps trailer. Once you find the perfect ones, add them to your timeline for that extra pop and excitement. Now, add a keyframe to your text and decrease its size, just like you see on the screen. Next, 
head over to Google and search for Line in Text Form. Choose one that fits your design and bring it back into CapCut. Add a new text layer and paste that line into it. Then, uncheck Uniform Scale and increase its width until it matches your design. After that, go to the Animations tab and apply the Zoom Out 2 animation for a cool effect. Once everything is set, group it all into a compound clip to keep things organized. To prevent lag while editing, make sure to pre-process the clip. Now, let's create the animation. First, make a freeze frame of the compound clip so we have a lighter clip to work with. Next, add a text layer, type a dot. and increase its size. Create a keyframe and position the dot so that it looks like it's hitting the existing text, causing it to tilt. At this point, if you try to tilt the dot, you'll notice it tilts from the center, but we want it to tilt from the top. Since CapCut only allows tilting from the point of origin, which is the center, here's what we'll do. Bring the dot to the center of the frame, then create a compound clip. This way, we can tilt it from the center and achieve the desired effect. Now that we've got it set, bring the compound clip to the upper layer so we can adjust its position to match the original clip. Where the ball is hitting, add rotation keyframes to make it look more dynamic. Now add a rotation keyframe and apply a tilt when the ball hits the bottom of the layer. Next, go to the Graph Editor and use the Auto Curve option to smooth out the keyframes for a smoother animation. Finally, add the last text layer, and with that, we're done with the animations. Thanks so much for following along. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and Stay tuned for more editing tips.